smoked mozzarella, cream sauce, mushrooms, garlic, and a roasted red pepper parmesan cheese. Uh, the coffee in that, there will be a meatball salad. It's a uh, bed of arugula and frise, topped with a citrus dressing, and it's topped with a homemade meatball marinade. They are going to try something new. At least that's my hope. Um, it's, it's a lot of um, a lot of people when you have, especially when you eat out a lot, you have your favorites. And the, the favorite restaurants are great, but there's so many in the area, and it's not just Northampton, there's so many in the Pioneer Valley. Um, just doing this, I've found like a hundred that I didn't know about. Um, and so because of that, it's going to get you um, out to do new and interesting things in a really cool way. Um, the other reason you should love Dish Crawl is that if you've ever had any trouble deciding on what you want to eat, we'll take care of it, because <laughs> you're going to get three sampler platters and then, a, and then a dessert. You don't have to order, you're going to get to try it for the first time and you don't have to worry about ordering the entire entree and then finding out you don't like it. You're only going to get a portion of it, um, which is great. So it's less risky. <laughs> it's definitely less risky than, than having to decide on that one thing. Basically, I talk to the restaurant owners and I go in and I ask, um, I tell them what we're doing and I ask them um, if they have some you know, time that they could serve us on a Tuesday night. Um, and then uh, once I've gotten all of the logistics of what we're going to serve, because everything is, is pre-ordered. Um, people don't order their food, they don't know where they're going until like 48 hours before. Um, and it makes it easier on the restaurant owners because they don't have to worry about, you know, surprises. They know exactly what they're going to put in front of everybody. My first instinct is to look for, um, for places that don't have, especially in Northampton, it was look for places that didn't have the same kind of uh, Main Street exposure. Um, because I think of it as, as the, the ones on Main Street are the ones you see when you drive through town, they're the ones you see when you get off the bus. Those are the ones that people think of first. Um, so, um, not as much for the second dish crawl, but for the first dish crawl, I really focused on the side streets. Um, my second dish crawl ended up being a little of both. Um, is some old favorites and some side street people who couldn't participate in the first one but really wanted to. Um, it was because it was graduation weekends, um, like back to back during the first one, and they were just overwhelmed. So I said, we'll do another one. <laughs> one of my friends and I, this falls under me being humble. When I first started doing Dish Crawl, my a friend of mine said that the, the price was a little high, but they're getting food um, and entertainment. And I said, what on earth are you talking about entertainment? And she goes, you. You're funny. And I went, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I definitely got, um, I, I hand out surveys at the end, and everybody, um, uh, they, they, didn't specific, they didn't specifically say thank you for the comedy hour, but um, I got the feel that my friends um, nailed it, that people really did enjoy how I led the crawl. So I feel comfortable that um, I could definitely lead a good, a good event. Um, and if nothing else, I could keep people laughing, even if we have rain and tornado warnings, or, which we had last time. So. <laughs> I'm able to take my, my natural love of meeting people and my absolute love of food and then going out and um, setting up the, this pretty cool event where I've, we had so much fun at the first one, so um, I'm very excited for the second one. I can't wait to get to other towns in, um, in the valley, not just Northampton.